Hey, what's up you guys? It's Six. Welcome back to my channel. So this video is late because I was putting off the rendering of this piece so much because I really, really liked the initial sketch uh, and I was really scared to ruin it with rendering, but I finally did render it not ruin it hopefully i rendered it so here we are um i wanted to do this for the whole entire month that being the funguary challenge um but between revamping my entire everything as far as branding goes when it was supposed to just be me changing my icon and then uh all these valentine's day commissions and all the personal work i was doing in between i definitely did not have enough time for a monthly challenge regardless of how badly i wanted to join in uh that being said I didn't think it would hurt for me to join in for just one day so I would decide or I would decide it I decided I would pick my favorite mushroom and that would be the week that I participated in funguary so that's what this is uh, this is actually technically for week two uh, even though I'm posting this in March now um, because Draculaura had to come out before Valentine's Day and then like I said all of those other things happened so it ended up taking way longer on top of me being scared to render. Anyway, uh, initially when I was planning to do this for the whole month, I went through each, uh, each week's list of mushrooms and chose which one was my favorite uh, per week because I knew I was going to be able to do a max of one a week uh, and week two was very hard to choose because so many of the mushrooms hit me with immediate inspiration. For example, um, fairy ring and ghost mushroom instantly put images in my head as far as full-blown illustrations go. Uh, fairy ring more so for the environment and the vibes and ghost mushroom initially had me thinking of character designs. Um, other mushrooms were contenders purely because of their color. I'm gonna pronounce this wrong. Uh, Cortinarius archery, archery, archery. I'm not, I'm not a fungi expert, uh, but that mushroom, for example, was such a stunning purple that I knew it would be so fun to play with the colors. And cobalt crust was also a gorgeous color, but for some reason, the actual mushroom, mushroom, mushroom itself uh, just gives me the heebie-jeebies. Probably because it looks a little like mold, and it probably is mold because it's a fungus. Um, but I just, I got some kind of of phobia about touching mold and I can feel it on my fingers when I see that mushroom so as pretty of a color as it is I don't think I'd be able to look at it long enough to develop a character design because it just gives me creepy crawlies. That being said, as I'm sure you guys can tell by now, I didn't end up choosing any of those mushrooms. Instead, I chose the witch's hat mushroom because I loved the shape of it and it was simple enough that I knew I could get a decent design out of it without putting too much pressure on myself. Initially, I was just going to render this as a bust of her looking somewhat kind of mysterious. I'll insert that initial sketch here. But I was in a particularly artsy mood the night that I did this sketch, so I felt the need to kind of expand on this character a bit more, and I decided to run uh, to Pinterest for some inspiration on a proper outfit design, and ended up with this kind of puffy, flowy dress, which in all fairness is one of my go-tos when it comes to character design. You guys saw the big puffy sleeves on Draculaura a bit, and I'm 100% positive that if you scroll through my Instagram, you'll see more of it. I'm also 100% sure because I just did it and it's definitely there. <laughs> I really want to branch out with my character design a bit more this year, but my Pinterest board is kind of flooded with the same style of aesthetic and I'm not sure what fashion terms to look up to find different kinds, but I swear I'm going to figure it out somehow. Um, if you guys have artsy outfit pinterest boards please link them in the comments because i want to see i want to get a wider pool of um fashion content on my pinterest board because i really i come to pinterest i get inspired by the same things i click on the same things and then pinterest provides me with the same things and so all of my my outfits tend to to be derived from the same sort of type of garment so i definitely need a wider array of stuff to go through anyway i still think that despite that her dress is really pretty i ended up actually going pretty monochromatic with the colors for the most part um when i was first designing um this character i'd 
planned on her being kind of really colorful um, because her hat, you know, is that red to yellow. Uh, so I wanted to, you know, do all sorts of colors, get, you know, unique with her hair and with her outfit and her dress. Um, but for some reason, I just mainly tried to stick to warm tones because the young version of these mushrooms, like I said, are a very pretty, like red to yellow gradient, and they turn black as they bruise and age, which is what makes them resemble a witch's hat. But I was so drawn to those bright colors that that is what I went for, for her hat and her dress. And then everything else just went really simply from that um very uh ready warm orange tones like her hair is a warm brown with a little bit of purple thrown in there um and then her skin i tried to keep really peachy even her cheeks which i normally would go for more like a purpley pink tint um but i kept those really peachy as well and her lips uh i i went with like a dark reddish brown when normally i would go for like if i was doing like a natural base i would do something that was like pinker um but i ended up wanting to to give her like a little bit of makeup, a little bit of, of bouginess, I guess. So I gave her some really dark, nice lipstick. Um, so yeah, just kept things really simple, really warm toned. And then I threw in a few green accents here and there to add a bit of contrast without being too overwhelming. Um, I will say I do not like the green that I used for the sprouts um, on like her magic -y hands. I think it's too bluey green and everything else is kind of like a a warmer olive green um but anyway <laughs> i will say uh since doing this i was doing this on one layer and i was not expecting rendering the dress to be so difficult but it absolutely was so hard to keep this dress looking flowy while also maintaining that gradient that i'd given her in the beginning same with the hat i just had so much trouble with the rendering process throughout this whole piece um for example when i was rendering her dress like i said i was having trouble with it looking flowy and that gradient was giving me so much trouble um and I would keep like erasing the edges so that it would look smooth because I kept using so many textured brushes but then I would erase it to look smooth and then it was like too smooth and it didn't look realistic and also you know the edge since I didn't have line art I was like that looks weird somehow I don't know why I feel like it needs line art but then I would put line art and it would look too harsh so that was a, so a whole struggle um, until I found like the rectangle brush or something in textures and uh for some reason that was giving me like a uh some kind of fabric i'm thinking of but i can't think of what it is it's like sheer i don't know if it's like tool um i don't know all the fashion terms but it it gave me the vibe that i was going for for the fabric of that dress so that helped kind of make things a little textured without being like overly weird looking um so that really helped a lot um and then the hat was just atrocious it was so difficult um because of the lines in the hat um that gradient for some reason at the bottom it was really desaturated even though it was a like a hot pink that i used to do the lines on this so i would blend that uh pink that should have been like a nice orange in and it looked like a nice orange but then when i would start blending it it would just turn gray or like a weird like grayish brown color and that was gross and then i would do the same thing on the red part and i would do the same thing it would just desaturate even though on the multiply layer it looked nice it looks saturated it looks pretty so um eventually i kind of gave up on trying to blend in those actual lines and ended up i think completely wiping them out and then recreating them with smaller ridges which i don't know if i like i still think it definitely gives like mushroom but the witch's hat mushrooms are actually kind of like smooth they do have a little bit of ridginess on the bottom of them but they're definitely like pretty smooth overall um so and that really had over heels with how the rendering turned out on that but at this point i was definitely ready to be over with this illustration i was maybe four hours in at this point um and it just was becoming a big like thing over my head that i needed to get finished so uh, at that point i was just like you know what this this looks good it doesn't look like the mushroom maybe but it looks good and so i'm willing to settle on that um surprisingly though that three or four hours isn't actually much longer than a normal illustration um when i do like commission work for example it can take two to three hours so i was surprised that despite all of that rendering and struggle it didn't take me much longer which now i'm kind of upset at myself 
for doing a uh, a one layer painty thingy because if I hadn't done that, I probably would have gotten this done much quicker and been maybe a little bit more happy with the result. Um, that being said, I think I am over this one layer painting phase because I spend the entire time doubting myself and my art abilities and I think moving forward rather than going absolutely ham and doing everything on exclusively one layer I'm gonna stick with my current rendering method but then try out some kind of like paint over technique and see if that helps create the look that I'm envisioning without the extra hour or so of work um Maybe I need to experiment with it more, but for now, this is what I am enjoying doing, so that is what I am going to do. As for the rest of this piece, I'm really glad that I decided to bring those tiny mushrooms and sprouts in during the sketching phase, because I think that without them, there wouldn't have been enough of an inspiration from the actual mushroom. Mushroom? Why can't I say mushroom today? This video is all about mushrooms, and I'm having such a hard time. Anyways, um, it also wouldn't have brought those colors together as well. And another thing about the tiny mushrooms um i <laughs> realized that i struggled so much with the hat that i was like what if i do these as a flat color with a gradient and then paint the lines on top rather than starting with the ridges already made and then blending them out that way and i think the mini versions look a lot more like the witch's hat mushroom so i'm really happy about that um so yeah, uh, overall, as simple as she is, I think she's really cute, uh, and I am glad that I was able to participate in Funguary at all, even if it was the tiniest bit, and also like a week late. <laughs> um, I'm, hope or I'm hopeful that I'm able to uh, jump on a monthly challenge at some point this year, maybe in the near future. Uh, definitely not Mermaid, <laughs> because I actually might be doing an event in, Mer or in Mermaid in May. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Oh, I mean, if I don't do Mermaid, maybe my next chance won't be until October for like Inktober or Scriptober or whatever I decide to do. Um, but if you know any other monthly challenge that <sighs> takes place in between May and October, let me know because I really want to do one uh, at some point in the near future. Anyways, let me know what you think of this character down below. Let me know if you participated in Funuary and uh, you know how many mushrooms you were inspired by or able to do. Um, also, please please feel free to suggest some Pinterest fashion boards to me because I'd love to see them and they would be oh so helpful to me. Anyway, I love you guys so so much and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!